So maybe one last uh, topic before we before we uh, end. And uh, another area of, of research that you've been involved in is the gene drive. Yeah. Um, you know, when maybe some people listening or you know watching know what that is, but uh, using it to eradicate insect carrying human disease like malaria. Um, Lyme the technolo- disease. Yeah. yeah, Lyme disease. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm just sort of curious about, um, you know, your your work on that, and 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 your work on also trying to uh, make sure you address concerns like yeah. unintentionally ex- leading to extinction of a species or something. Right. So, I think um, um, one approach to so so. The extinction of species is one part of it. And so you can do gene drives whose intention is to make a species resistant to uh, something that's bad for a third species. So, for example, you could make um, mosquitoes resistant to malaria. They don't carry it on to humans. So there's a three species problem. And you're not really making anything extinct necessarily, although since malaria is a human specific disease, you might make malaria extinct. Um, but you could inadvertently, I think the scenario you're painting here, inadvertently make that mosquito extinct as well. Now, there's a limited number of mosquitoes that carry um, malaria, maybe half a dozen major ones out of 3,500 species of mosquito. And one could argue that um, there are very few known species that are dependent upon mosquitoes. Uh, the males are pollinators, uh, females um, are the blood suckers in this case. Um, but uh, even mosquito fish do not depend on uh, mosquitoes. But anyway, we, we, we should do more study of the ecosystem uh, interactions. Uh, we should test them extensively uh, to see that they don't cause extinction. In um, They have these um, large enclosed... Uh, ecosystems, you know, the site that includes small villages and farms and so forth. Um, e- uh, extinction tends to occur more easily in um, small populations as long as the environment is still complex. Um, so, so, so we could do tests like that, um, but it also helps if the species that we're putting at risk uh, is okay to go extinct. I mean. There are a lot of species going extinct, and I probably, you know, getting rid of half a dozen mosquito species that have, where we're pretty confident that they don't impact other species might be acceptable. But first priority is to try to do it without that. And the way that it's going to make it uh, into, again, into public positive consciousness is, uh, um, you know, my former postdoc and, and colleague at MIT, Kevin Esfeld, has gone to Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard, and uh, and ask whether they would be favor having a gene drive wipe out Lyme disease. Uh, they hate Lyme disease, but having gene drive wipe out Lyme disease, do nothing, or to have a, a non gene drive um, shock and awe of a whole new engineered rodent population that is resistant to Lyme disease, but not be a gene drive. And of those three scenarios, I think they like the third one the best don't want to do nothing. They don't want a gene drive just yet. Let's try a genetically engineered uh, rodent population. It's a little more expensive, a little, you know, probably less sure. Um, but but that's, that's the kind of communication, the dialogue between um, all of, almost all of the people on the islands or their representatives in the town councils. Um, they were surprisingly uh, interested in the science and how it could affect their Lyme disease is a horrible disease. Um, um, it'd be hard to do the same thing in malaria, and that's why Lyme might be a better choice for these two different GMO strategies. Um, but I think that's that's the pathway by which it might uh, get better. There, are, there also, you know, there is a pretty good Lyme vaccine that was blocked for no particularly great reason. It was, uh, it happened to bad timing that happened around the same time as the fake data on uh, uh, vaccines causing uh, autism. 
uh, Wakefield, I think was this scientist name who, who faked the data and later was sh when that was revealed, but the damage was already done. People kept repeating it as if it were a fact for many years after it was shown to be false. Um, and so they pulled uh, the um, Lyme disease vaccine off. Now, back then, Lyme disease was, was also a less serious disease. I think if that were put to a vote today, they would have uh, kept the vaccine. And then there are some new vaccines uh, that are slightly better aimed either at multiple um, tick-borne diseases, not just Lyme, multiple strains of Lyme. Um, so that hopefully those will, since, since now people do know the consequences of voting against the vaccine, hopefully they'll accept it this time. It's been in use in dogs ever the whole time. It's, in the, it's one of these cases where dogs get better medical care than humans do because you know, we love our dogs and apparently we don't care about ourselves.